I don't know who I watched that said this concealer was medium coverage, but uh, I'm gonna have to disagree with that. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I'm finally showing you some of the products that I bought from the Sephora VIB sale. This stuff has just been sitting in my box. Today is first week of December, like the end of the first week. And I haven't used any of this stuff. So I was really excited to play today. I came up with this gorgeous, glam, slightly smoky look. And I can't wait to show you guys what I used. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. Y'all know the drill. Please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. If you love makeup, if you love hauls, if you love tutorials, reviews, I do a little hair, a little nails, a little fitness, just a little something, something, a little bit of variety for you. So I'm sorry, I'm still looking at my lips. I love how this look came out. I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer. If you wanna see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, I am super excited to dive into this stuff. You guys know the Sephora sale has been over for a minute and I haven't touched any of the stuff that I bought. It's just been sitting in a box. I think, I think this is everything, but I'm not sure, but clearly I can't use all this on my face today. So whatever I don't use is gonna go back in the box and then I will use it again another time. So to start off with primer, we have two options. I have the Beauty Blender, the Leveler Pore Minimizing Primer that's for smoothing and filling have not used this one yet, but then I also have my Fashion Fair FF Fabulous Priming Serum. I think I'm gonna go with the Fashion Fair because I want to use the foundation as well today and the powder, and I think they'll go well together. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Fashion Fair primer and add it to my face. It is like a kind of peachy color. It's not white, and it says it's more of a serum. The products that I'm using today are going to be mattifying so definitely want something that's gonna help keep me a little moisturized and not looking dry and cakey something else I have that we're gonna put back in the box to use for next time is this one size three queen set it has a primer powder and oh you know what I might use the setting spray so I'm gonna take the setting spray out because I don't have a new one and we are gonna try that today, but the primer and the powder I'm gonna also save for another time. So while we're letting the primer set, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm gonna do one, and I'm only doing this on camera because I have a product I have not used yet. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This wasn't a part of my haul, but like I said, I've had it for a while and haven't used it, so I wanted to go ahead and try it today. This is in the shade Dark Drapes. If you haven't seen this, it comes with a pencil here on one side and then it comes with the pin and it is a brush tip on the other side. I have been loving using the pins to get more hair like strokes like the microblading look. So I'm just going to do one brow real quick on camera so you guys can see if you were thinking about getting this. Now this one off the bat does not come out as dark as my Milani weekend brow which I can honestly appreciate because that one is a little bit intimidating, but you can already see that starting to fill in my brows a bit. Yeah, it's definitely a lighter shade. So I like to do the front first and then I just kind of comb through that and just make sure everything is not looking gappy or anything like that. I think this is a really good shade. It does feel a little more natural and I have a little more room to play than I do with my weekend brow, but I still, still love the Milani weekend brow. And you see it's dark enough to fill in the tail and this is supposed to be kind of like a semi-permanent, not gonna go anywhere. I will say that the shade is a little warmer than what I'm used to dealing with, but again, I think it goes well. I am gonna be dyeing my hair dark, grr. Again, real soon, I'm going to try this pencil and see. Yeah, this pencil's a good shade. Um, I'm going to be dyeing my hair darker again soon. 
So we'll see how that looks with that. But first impressions, I like how this looks and I like how it works. So that's pretty much it for my brows. I don't really do a lot. I feel like my hairs are starting to grow in so I don't need as much work. I'm gonna kind of thin this out just a little bit in the front, but for right now, this is good. So I'm gonna do the other one off camera and then I'll be back. All right, brows are done. So now it's time to get into the makeup. For foundation, I have two, but I know I wanna use my Fashion Fair, so automatically that's what we're doing. This is the Cream to Powder Skin Foundation, and I have mine in the shade Fine Chestnut. I did bring back the other one that I had, I don't remember what the shade was, but it was just too golden, too dark. So I decided to go back and get this one, which was the one that I originally thought I was gonna be. Now this Fashion Fair foundation does say to use it with the serum primer, so you don't have to, but they recommend that. And it just says use a foundation brush or your fingertips or a sponge. So this is what the shade looks like. I still feel like this is a little orange looking, but we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna use my finger for the parts that I feel need a little more coverage and just build that up there and let that sit for a while. And then the other areas that aren't too bad, I'm just gonna apply with my brush. So I'm gonna go in just with a foundation brush and see how that picks up. One reason I do not like to do my brows first is because I wipe them off almost every time because I don't think about it. So just off the bat, I definitely feel like I would have to figure out a way to build this up because I don't feel like this to me comes off as like a light medium coverage. I feel like it also looks really orange on me. Is there something else in here? Oh, okay. There's a sponge under here. Not paying attention. I'm going to try that. I honestly probably needed an even lighter shade, but y'all know me. I can't fathom <laughs> being light. So, uh, I don't know how I'm feeling about this right now, to be honest. I feel like I'm kind of having trouble building it up and I don't love the shade either. Like it looks super dark on here. I know I can get it to come together like I do all my other ones, but I mean, honestly, I was only getting this foundation to try it because it's pretty popular right now. And I wanted to see how it looks compared to some of my other cream to powders, like the Milani, the KVD is supposed to be a balm, but kind of the same principle. Um, I wanted to see how it compares to those. So I feel like this is about as much coverage as I'm gonna get, which isn't bad. I just feel like it's taking a lot of work and I don't love that for my foundation. So we're just gonna go with it. This is what the coverage looks like using their sponge, hoping to get a little more coverage, but also using my finger and a brush. All right, so next, what do we want to do? I think I'm going to let this, do I want to do my whole base first? No. <laughs> next, I'm going to move on to eyes because if I have any fallout, I will be able to clean it up easier. I'm going to use this Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer. This is not my normal primer because this is clear. It looks green, but it's clear when you put it on your skin and it does not hide any of the discoloration if you have any, which I do. So this is not the normal primer that I go for, but I wanted to try it because it's new and I like trying new stuff. So we're gonna see how it works. It does kind of feel like silicone slippery, which makes me wonder how this is gonna hold on to shadows and not crease. But we're gonna give it a fair chance and see. I don't know if I need to set this or what. What does the direction say? It says double dose to hydrate and hold grips pigment locks on color. So I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm not gonna add anything to it. We're just gonna go with this and see how it works. But I feel like I definitely look hydrated. So hopefully my shadows don't crease. Rest of my face, I have to use this. This is the Natasha Denona 
Glam Face Palette. I have so much stuff that I could use right now, but this is calling me, so I just have to. This is so gorgeous. I was so happy it was available during the sale. And then I know you guys have seen this quite a few times, nothing new, but new to me. So we're gonna use this on the face and the eyes today. So I'm gonna start off with the transition shade, which actually says transition, so super cool. And we're just gonna, this is definitely packing some pigment. And I feel like it is gliding on really well with that eyeshadow primer. It's just so weird to be putting something on my eyes when it feels like my eyes are wet. I love this shade. It's warm, but it's rich. I feel like that primer is really helping my eyeshadow kind of blend out. So next, I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Crease. The crease is also a brown, but it's a little darker. It's so weird because I can see that primer through my shadow and my eyes look shiny. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're going to give it a chance. And I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go in with smoke and just further deepen up the crease in the outer V. Ooh, that's dark, yep. So I'm just gonna bring this lower in my crease. I mean, this is pretty much how I do my eyeshadow all the time, so we ain't doing nothing new, but just trying new products and wondering how this eyeshadow primer is gonna play all day. I will be working out later, so all of these products will get put to the test. I don't know what I'm seeing in my crease right here. It almost looks like, not that it's sk skipping. I don't know if my skin's dry right there. I don't think it's the shadow because Natasha Denona shadows are always really good. They're smooth, but something is definitely up on my eyelid, which could just be dryness. I feel like this looks so muddled though. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I kind of feel like it's because of the primer. Hmm, I want a lighter shade. So I don't know, let me just, keep doing what I'm doing and see what happens. I just feel like this needs to blend a lot more. And honestly, again, I think because of the primer, everything is just kind of blending together. So it's helping, but I low key kind of feel like it also might be making things worse. Like this looks a little patchy here and the color sticks once I go to put it down. So that's fine. It's just blending it. It's almost kind of like blending it away. I'm gonna go back in with smoke a little bit and just tap that on the outer edge. Yeah, it definitely feels like everything is just like blending together. And I think it's because of the primer because it is just helping everything glide so smoothly. It's just different. It's not bad, but I feel like I have to be a little more careful, so. We're gonna go in with one of these lid shades. And you know, I'm gonna follow directions for once. And I'm gonna take outer corner and put it on my outer corner. Because at first I was like, I don't see how that's an outer corner shade, but it is a very beautiful kind of bronze color. It is a little flaky. I feel like I would probably do better with this with my finger, so let's try that. I don't think y'all know how much I drop stuff. Like this is <laughs> so annoying, but it happens all the time. So there you can see that shade. And then I'm gonna take the inner corner shade. This one also looks kind of flaky. And I'm just pressing these into the skin to try to make sure I don't get fallout all over my face. I love that they have both options of shimmers as like a lighter one and then a darker one. So if you want to go 
a lighter route you can and be a little more neutral but if you want to go darker and be a little more smoky a little more glam you can do that too so I really feel like this palette has everything you need for like a travel beginner friendly palette especially because she tells you how to use them So there you see those two shades together. I think they blend well together, they're pretty. I'm gonna take that highlight shade Star Glow and I'm gonna put that, I don't wanna do my inner corner till after I do my concealer first. So I'm gonna do that. I do wanna try to take a smaller brush in my crease and see if I can I don't wanna do a cut crease. Well, let me finish. Let me do the rest of my eyes first because I know sometimes the eyes kind of look crazy till you do the rest of the face. So let's move on. We'll come back to that. For concealer, I just want to give you guys an update. Although I don't know where I put it. I put it up here, I thought. I have been using the Kosas Concealer. And I absolutely... I know I brought it in here. Anyway, I absolutely love it. I've been using that every day for like my... I just want to hide my under eye circles and not have too much. I use that with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder underneath and it's in a lighter shade and it just makes everything look awake and refreshed and beautiful. Not too much coverage, it's not drying, it doesn't crease once I set it and I think it's perfect. So I have, um, I think 8.0, let me find it. I'm a nerd, it was in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, I have the shade 08. And this is what it looks like. I know it looks a little light on camera, but under my eyes, this is the perfect everyday shade. So I've been using this almost every day. I just wanna look a little more alive. But today, we're gonna use the Patrick Star One Size Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Dark 2. I actually put this on and I walked around the store with it on my hand because I noticed that these oxidize a lot. I originally picked up like one of the dark shades and one of my subscribers commented and said, Barbara, that's gonna be too dark for you. And I was like, oh no, I put it on and it was fine. It was too dark. It was like my skin tone. So definitely not what I was picking it up for. So I brought it back and then had to figure out not only which undertone I wanted, but also what shade. So I think this one is going to be okay. I mean, when I picked this one up, I was like, there is no way. That is scary light. That is not my shade. And once I let it dry down, it was a good fit for me. So I know it looks a little light here, but it is going to blend. It will be fine. So far, I'm liking how this is spreading out. It, it looks crazy light, but I'm telling you, it's going to dry down and it is going to be a good shade for me. I'm just going back around the edges to help blend it in, but still concentrate the lightness where I want it. This looks so light. It is a little intimidating, but they're just going to roll with it. And it also helped to clean up my eyeshadow a little bit. I don't know who I watched that said this concealer was medium coverage, but uh, I'm gonna have to disagree with that. And honestly, that's why I said you have to try products for yourself because what you think, what someone else thinks may not be the same for you. So if you wanna try something and you really think it'll be good for you despite what the reviews say, that is what the return policy is for. Try it out. If you don't like it, bring it back. No harm, no foul. Because I can tell you right now, I like this concealer. And some people don't. And to each their own. I just say I will advise, start off with a very light hand. And then build it up and add more as you need to. Because if you go in with too much, it is really hard to blend it out and not have it spread everywhere. So... I think this looks good. I'm just gonna blend in around my nose so it's not too harsh. Go back around the edges and then to set my face, I am going to use the Fashion Fair powder. I did pick up the loose powder in the shade Warm Sunrise. 
It does have a bit of a banana yellow shade to it. So, but I think it's more of a cross between like a banana and a translucent, which I like. I am gonna make sure under my eyes is not creased. And then I am just going to pat this in. I am not gonna bake because the Patrick Star found concealer is supposed to be very mattifying and drying. So I don't need, I just need to set this to make sure it doesn't crease, but I don't wanna go too overboard with baking and then I look too dry. But I can already tell that has smoothed out my under eye area and my cheek area that normally looks very porous. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. Yeah, this powder is nice. I have this Beauty Blender Pocket Puff. We're just taking the wrapper off. Okay, it says deposit powder with the plush pink side, reblend and touch up using the tan side. So we are using the pink side and we are going to add a little more powder, why not? So we're just gonna take a little bit of powder on the pocket puff here and press that. And I'm really focusing this on the areas that crease on me or like the wrinkled parts to try to help it not wrinkle. My skin looks so smooth though. I hope you guys can see this the way I can because I think it looks so good. All right, for bronzer, I was trying to stay. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I bought this Jouer Gathering Glow palette. This has a bronzer, a blush, two blushes, and a highlighter. As tempted as I am to use this whole thing, I am only gonna use the bronzer because I want to use the rest of my face palette. So this is a powder product. I need to set the rest of my face. I'm gonna take the Patrick Star One Size Dark 3R. This is the Turn Up The Base Powder Foundation. I'm just gonna take a brush and just use this to set the rest of my face so that the rest of the products glide on smoothly. So far, I don't see that this is changing the color too much. I'm just using the littlest amount of this. I do plan on doing a full like powder foundation routine with it, but not right now. Definitely helped take away some of the shine that I had and I think the color is good for what I needed it for. So we're gonna go in with the Jouer Sun Gaze is the bronzer shade. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my brush. Yeah, I like this shade. It is a little bit red, but it's still dark enough that I can use it as a contour. So you can see definitely giving me some dimension there. I like the shade of this. It's not your typical standard cool dark contour shade, but it's still enough. I think that's gonna be good for that. And then I'm gonna put this up because I wanna use it more later. And I have a bad habit of leaving stuff in the box if I feel like I haven't shown it yet or wanna do a little more. I still have my Patrick Star, Patrick Star, Patrick Ta blush palette. That is still in the box. And then I have this Micro Smooth face palette from Sephora still in the box. So all of those will be coming, but right now, we're going back to Natasha because I need to see. I'm gonna do the highlighter first and then the blush on top of it. This is in the shade Star Glow, which other, oh yeah. Other than in her other face palettes, the big face palettes that I have, I don't have any Natasha just standalone highlighters and I've heard good things about them, I just haven't I never pulled the trigger on it, so probably never will since I have them in my face palettes, but this is a gorgeous highlighter and she is blinding. And I like how the shade of this, I think complements the eyeshadow as well. So it's a complete face palette and everything goes together. 
that's bright. We're gonna go in with the blush now. I hope this brush is gonna work okay because this is a cream. I just have a big fluffy natural hair brush. Yeah, she's picking up. Love that shade. Super pretty, also helps tone down the highlighter a tiny bit. Oh yeah, that is like the perfect everyday blush shade for me. And now we got a lot of color, so <laughs> I'm gonna get out of this palette. That is so pretty. Ooh, I love blush. I'm gonna go back with some more highlighter because I like highlighter. So I definitely think everything is coming together well. I do think the eyes look a little better now that we have everything on. I just wanna blend out a little more around the edges, but I don't wanna add any more product. So we're just gonna stay with that. Then I'm gonna go back in the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take the smoke shade and I'm gonna go on my lower lash line with that. And then I'm going to take the crease shade and go a little further in. And using the same brush, because I just like to use the same brush for a lot of stuff, I'm gonna take that highlighter shade and go on the inner corner and then also on the lower inner third of my lash line. And now we are smoking. I am absolutely in love with how this looks. I don't think I bought, yes I did. I was about to say I didn't buy any lip products. I didn't buy any liners, so I'm just gonna use my Milani Rich Cocoa Liner. And then for my lips, I have this Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse Fantasy Foursome set. This is the only other than my other lip gloss set. I didn't pick up any other lip products. Oh, lies, I forgot. I wanted to use my Pat McGrath lipstick. This came in the Black um, Black Owned Beauty Creators set that had the hair oil and the Briogeo. It had this, it had the full frontal mascara. So we're gonna go with this. This is in the shade OMI 107. And it's just a very gorgeous matte lipstick. And that almost does not match. So I'm gonna probably, <laughs> didn't think about that part. Does that match? Mm, I think it's all right. I'm gonna fill in my lips a little more just to give more of an ombre effect and then we will be good. I'm gonna go ahead, I don't have a new eyeliner or anything like that. I'm gonna do liner and lashes and then come back and give you my final thoughts. All right guys, so this is it for the final look. I absolutely love how this came out and I felt like the eyeshadow was so easy. I did feel like I needed a bit of a learning curve with this eyeshadow primer, but I think I like it. I'm gonna definitely keep using this and see. Like I said, it's different from what I normally use, but the way my shadows blended together, and it even feels like, to me it kind of looks like I have an under brow, like an under my eyebrow highlight, but I don't, and it's not dry because of the primer. So I'm definitely gonna keep using this. Face palette, absolutely love. I was kind of feeling like I wasn't feeling this foundation, and I actually kept the box because I was gonna bring it back, but I think I kind of like it. So I'm gonna keep that. The Jouer palette, definitely keeping, I'm keeping everything, let's put it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one size. Let's check this mister. Okay. Ooh, that smells like some alcohol. This says waterproof, sweatproof, transfer proof, 16 hour mattifying setting spray. We're gonna use this lightly because I feel like my face looks pretty matte 
but I also feel like this looks so smooth and everything just looks so good. So here we go. Definitely smells like alcohol, kind of fragrancy, like, I don't know if it's a perfume or a cologne or what. I'm trying to like barely press this because I don't want too much of this on my face. I like the smell of this. I know some people don't like fragrant products. So if you don't, you're not going to like this, but I personally do. So I'm going to keep this out, see how everything plays together. But I love the way my face looks like. It feels like I have a very dramatic dark eye look, but y'all saw how easy it was to put together. I kind of want to play in this Fenty glossy posse. This is, I got a share the box to open it, set just because I want something a little more for my lips, but I don't know what. This lip cream, I think is going to be a little too pink, so we're not doing that, but we can go ahead and add a little gloss. I just want to use this hot chocolate fantasy one. I think this is so pretty and the sparkles in it almost kind of make it look like it has a little bit of gold with it. So we're going to do that. I like how that looks. I love the smell of these. You don't really see the, I know if I put this too close, maybe, oh, you might be able to see it. If you can see the different shades in there. I was hoping I'd see more of that on my lips, which I don't, but I still like this shade. So definitely glad I picked these up. I think the other shades are gonna be gorgeous too. I love this formula. As far as everything else goes, what else did I use? I love the concealer. I love how brightening it is. I love the powder. I'm glad I used a hydrating serum because everything I everything else I put on my face felt like it was really mattifying. So that is it for this look, this eyebrow <laughs> pencil pen from Urban Decay. Love this as well. So I have no complaints. I was kind of going into this thinking I was going to bring some stuff back, but we're not. We're keeping it all. So this is the first installment of my... Sephora VIB sale update, first impressions, love everything so far. I will have more of these because I bought a lot of stuff. Thank you for sticking with me till the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I hope you decided to join the family. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.